All right, Jason Hollis Farms this morning. Start y'all off right. I did something a little bit different. I don't know how many of y'all ever go to Hardee's. I like them. But they ain't that expensive. But they got a steak and cheese biscuit. It is good. So, got me some hash browns, but I just wanted to start this video off right. Got a sweet tea. We're going to eat a little bit, and then we're going to do a little work. So, I like this Hardee's, but man, they expensive. So, anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. My phone's ringing, vibrating, and everything can't get away. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's been a long day. It's in the afternoon. I have had a crazy day since I had that biscuit this morning. Had to go to the eye doctor. I ain't been in about two years. I'm getting to where I can't read anymore, so I got to get some new glasses. But on the phone, running around, just been one of them crazy days, but I hadn't been able to pick the camera back up. So what I decided to do, let me turn y'all around. Y'all have seen me cutting grass over here. This little house is what we call the brown house. And this is where we raise, where we uh, keep our hunters. Nothing too fancy. Anyway, y'all, uh, this house was it was built back in the 60s. Got a few chairs and grill and stuff. I got to clean up for a season start. But this house was built back in the 60s by the people that lived here that we bought the property from. But when we got the place, we come in here and remodeled it. We cut a light on. I gotta clean up before the season starts. But anyway, we came in here and we got all this cedar for the walls. We pretty much gutted the house and, and reworked the whole thing. On the outside, we just decked it and roofed it and painted the brick. But on the inside, we pretty much gutted it. All this cedar came from up in, from the Amish up in North Missouri. This stuff's kind of like lap siding. It just laps. It can be used for exterior. Got us a couch and a couple of chairs and all these cedar tables, coasters. All that came from up in Missouri. Made the coat rack. Pretty interesting. This is a little, little laundry room. He made this table too. This thing's cool. Nothing real fancy. Years ago, we thought about building something new, but we decided just to remodel this thing. Nothing fancy, just kind of, just comfortable. This kitchen table is really cool. Look how thick this thing is. It is slick. That's all cedar. And then these big heavy chairs. It's nice enough for, for what we do. Nice little living, living room. Got a Fairly nice TV. I put a window unit in a couple years ago just in case the air conditioner on the outside goes out and every once in a while things will happen. I'll go back here, show you these bedrooms. Got three bedrooms. The Amish made these beds too, all that cedar also. Made a little benches. And the tables. Just a nice little comfortable house. Like I said, it's got three bedrooms. I don't run too many people at a time. Every once in a while we'll get four or five people and somebody have to sleep on the couch. Made all the beds. These beds are just cool. They're heavy too. Can't hardly pick them up. Got the bench. Got a table in every room. Got a little coat rack he made. I got to do some washing and cleaning. He made this chest of drawer too. Ain't that cool? That's all. Awesome. See, look at them handles. He come in here and see if y'all can see. Let me see if I can get this light on. See how he put that gravel in there and then clear coat it over it. And that crack. This guy's good. Good. Really, really good. Neat little lantern. Looks like it's got a fireplace in it. Never had any complaints about the little house. Just a comfortable little house. Three bedrooms, just one bath. Does pretty good. Man, there's a penny on the floor. I need to pick that up. 
Got the cedar everywhere. Just pine in the ceilings. Not too bad to keep up. These floors are slick as can be. You mop it, sweep it up. Not too bad at all. Been a lot of stories told in here. Got us a dishwasher in here, got gas stove, microwave, been a lot of grilling going on in here. And y'all will see who gets to clean this thing daily when we get started. You can guess who does that. Got me some supplies at the Wally World the other day. We'll show y'all this. This is some old pictures. Let's see if I can get this in here. I was probably five or six here. That'd be me in my Spider-Man underwear, my brother Brian and my dad. And this is some of them pine trees that we planted back when we was kids. And that's the old camp down there. That's us again. Can't hardly see. Been a long time ago. I can remember when my dad killed that deer. Long time ago. Anyway, I was just going to give y'all a little tour of what we call the brown house. A lot of people call it the lodge, whatever they want to call it. I call it the brown house because it's brown. We'll be starting for long. Have hunters running through every day. Working with that. I'll video what I can, you know. Most of the time I won't be videoing the hunters hunting. Some they might let me. A lot of them be a little camera shy, so... We probably won't do a lot of that, but I'll get to show y'all the kills and all that. We'll work all that out. We'll find something to video and show y'all. We'll show y'all a lot of big bucks. But anyway, I'm just going to share that with y'all today. Had a long day, a lot of phone calls, just a crazy day. Didn't get to get a whole lot done, but it happens like that. And the closer and closer I get to deer season, the more I got to catch up on and get done. It's like kind of a lot to put together, and a lot of it you can't do till right when it's about time to do it. So that's all right. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here and go check on Cody, see what he's got on going on. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all like our stuff. Subscribe to us. Hollis Farms. Out of here.